What is going on YouTube? Uh, this video is going to be primarily me talking, but for the sake of the video I decided to put me uh, fighting some people as gameplay, so I hope you guys aren't too bored. Um, if your guys' brain cells and attention span is too destroyed from scrolling on TikTok or YouTube shorts, then this video isn't for you. If you don't believe that Rogue Demon has a chance to reach its former glory or don't really care, then again, this video is not for you. Um, there's a very good chance that the owner of Rogue Demon is going to watch it as I'm going to actually ping him in the Discord since it literally says in the rules, don't ping him unless it's important and I find this video incredibly important. So first I wanted to talk very briefly on Rogue Slayers which I intended to be an MMORPG, uh, sort of Battlegrounds uh, twist to it and the main reason I want uh, wanted this to happen is for the exact reason for the exact position that rogue demons in right now man i mean it's hitting 400 players 500 players and even with because even with the demon slayer hype not being here until the movies come out and we see all the epic fights there's still so much more that could be done and this game could really easily beat every single other demon slayer game and it's by far one of my most favorite games on roblox it's my favorite battlegrounds people always say why not just commit to tsb i'm sure if i committed to tsb in these other battlegrounds games over a long enough time Bam. time span i would get into the algorithm but that's not what i want i want rogue demon i like demon slayer i like this combat i like this game i like how it's scripted and i still stand by what i said by me being by far the most loyal content creator in rogue demon by far by far but enough about me let's talk about rogue demon itself so there's going to be some updates coming they're adding a new map they're probably going to finish wind breathing they're going to do this they're going to do that listen i love it i love to hear it i would love to see the game more consistent i believe that if i met actually hopefully listen to a little bit of my advice I, I don't mind if he criticizes it if i say something stupid in the comments or responding to me in the some videos channel in the rogue demon discord but there are essential things that i truly like would bet money i would bet money i would bet my channel on that would fundamentally change rogue demon for the better and these aren't difficult things so i hope dearly that these words are taken into uh heed and and potentially you know i met actually listens to what i have to say so the very first thing is map rotations man i always say all the time map rotations okay please 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 look at the screen on in front of you guys and you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about when it means voting i want every 30 minutes in every server maybe 15 minutes but you i would prefer 30 since you know usually people play for a while it can be a timer on the screen uh in front of this at the top middle whatever where pa players can vote between the maps of previous there's the big tree map with the lake house which is really beautiful there was the um there was the Mujin Train map, which I liked. It had Tournament Mountain and a little secret cave, which was really cool. We have the current map, which is also pretty cool. I like it as well. And these are just a few maps that could be used as rotation. Players could choose what player, what they, uh, map they want to play on, and it always leaves something fresh, more replayability. It's a very simple scripting process, a very simple thing to do. I actually have a lot of scripters and have been learning uh, very much about scripting. It's not very difficult, and it would change the game so much and make it so much more replayable so that is the very first thing that i wanted to discuss the second thing which i find incredibly important when it comes to competitivity and pvp is true balance changes okay there are just some movesets that are ridiculously broken for example beast breathing it may not seem like it, but once you reach the higher levels, any super top player will tell you right now Beast is one of the strongest. And if they don't, then they're just, you know, in denial. Because first off, Beast has a infinite, infinite combo. Then it also has one of the lowest cooldown evasives in game. Actually, the lowest cooldown evasive in game, which is absolutely ridiculous. And what truly makes Beast Breathing broken is the fact that you can use the evasive for a combo starter. So when you jump and use it or even use it normally, the player that gets hit Hit by the crazy cutting m1 the evasive is ragdolled for so long that you can actually use it as a combo starter it's an incredibly powerful incredibly broken it has a ton of iframe abilities which means basically your evasive is worthless and that is just not okay i think when it comes to like every other moveset in game there's nothing quite like beast breathing the closest thing to beast breathing in terms of ridiculousness is sound and what makes sound balance 
is almost what makes bre beast breathing balance. And that's you can incredibly zone it. You can run around it. But the thing with beast breathing is the AOE of crazy cutting is actually large. So you can't even really avoid them. You have to fight and you have to get up front in order to really hit a beast, a beast breather. And they will hit you with that crazy cutting from a far range. It'll hit you. It's insane range. So that, that truly just gaps beast breathing with uh, the other movesets. And the third thing is paid movesets. Now, this is going to be just such a hard, difficult thing for me to try to even uh, convince or explain to Ahmed to do. It's his money. It's his monetization. And with the state of the game now, he's probably going to need it more than ever. But I seriously think in the long run, it's taking more money. And there are infinitely better, infinitely better monetization options than charging for movesets in a Battlegrounds game. And I actually want to point those out because I can't just point out a problem without pointing out a solution, can I? So the solution is actually incredibly simple. All I believe he'd have to do is potentially add weapon auras. I think weapon auras, you know, a flame aura, lightning aura, thunder aura, red aura, blue aura, rainbow aura. If you wanted to add trading in the future, that could be a potential thing as well. It would just take the game to the next level. And I don't know about you guys, but I think we're far more interested in having auras than wanting to pay for movesets. I think on average, players would be more likely to pay for those, especially the ones who've been playing for a long time compared to um, other things, you know, like having to pay for movesets. So that's a super big uh, replacement uh, monetization method that would seriously just honestly probably make more than than uh, charging for movesets. So those are some three fundamental issues. And just back on the second point of balance changes, you know, for example, we have things like Docky. Despite the movesets without um, needing evasives except Enmu are actually pretty strong. For example, Docky has like an infinite combo. Insect has an infinite combo. Um, Wind breathing is seemingly going to be pretty freaking powerful. They're all super good, but at the same time, it just is, it's off. It's off to have certain movesets with evasives and certain movesets with not. There's nothing wrong, Ahmed, for him adding, you know, an M2 evasive for the wind breathing or anything like that. Because, hey, at the end of the day, if it becomes too strong, like Beast, for example, it can always be nerfed and worked on again. There's never like some permanent damage that's going to negatively permanently affect the trajectory of the game that cannot be changed. But it's when we sit idle like this that games collapse. And I'm I'm not just saying this I'm not just saying this because I truly care about Rogue Demon. I genuinely care about the future, the player base, and it's crazy. I think me and I met have a very big similarity in the aspect that I absolutely hate when people are saying, oh, Rogue Demon's dead. I'll literally sit and argue with them. You can see it in Rogue Demon general chat. You can see it in other Discord servers. I will sit and argue with people on behalf of Rogue Demon. That's the internal loyalist within me. And the reason why I argue it is if you look at the player count of every other Demon Slay Slayer game on the Roblox platform, you can literally see none of them have Ex exceedingly more players than than rogue demon and so it's just kind of ridiculous so let me know everything you guys think i don't want to yap too much i love you guys thank you guys for hearing my session peace there's probably more i have to say but i don't want to continue yet.